What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. T-Shirt, back with another one. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments, DMs, and questions, concerns on how do you print on nylon materials, such as windbreakers, track suits, rain jackets, those type of materials that's where it's made out of mostly nylon without burning through the material. What temperature settings do you have your heat press set to when you do it? The whole application process. So I'm gonna kind of cover those today for you in the video. All right, guys. So speaking of windbreakers, it's actually raining outside. That's crazy. But um, just so you guys know, the type of windbreakers that I use are because I only I can only give my customers premium stuff. So the windbreakers I use are no other than Champion windbreakers. Um, these are made out of 100% polyester. We take a look at the end tag. Not sure if you'll be able to see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I can barely see it. But these are 100% polyester. You know, if you feel it, touch it. Now there are some that have like a mesh inside. These do not. These are just strictly 100% polyester. Let's grab our vinyls. I've already pre-cut the vinyls out of where they're going. We have three different locations of where they're going on these windbreakers. Um, this is actually for an order for a mechanic shop. We're gonna put these pieces together and we'll come out with our final and finished product. So let's get that press heat up and let's have some fun. All right, so this is one windbreaker that I already started, but I still have one more location to hit with a checkered flag on this side, on the right chest. So this is the most important part right here, the most tedious part I should say, that takes patience is smoothing out the vinyl so you get a nice smooth lay when it comes down to pressing your design. So spend a couple minutes just smoothing it out as much as you can. You want to make sure a lot of times windbreakers come with drawstrings made out of nylon around the hood. You want to make sure that the press is clear of those. All right. And what I usually use as a guideline to apply my designs on windbreakers is with Champion windbreakers, I usually get them. They're usually perfectly folded. So the fold lines, the folded lines I use as my guidelines when I'm laying down my design onto the windbreaker. So let me grab my design. Okay. Now I'm using Sizer HTV. Just a warm peel and that's how we got it. That's how it came out. Okay, again, you run your hand over, it feels like part of the polyester, one with the polyester, almost like a screen print, if not even better. All right, so this is how the windbreaker came out. I may still add another name up here at the top of the checkered flag, but as you can see, came out nice and clean. All right, sorry, I had to change my shirt. It was, the black was way too hot. But anyway, um, so as I previously mentioned, 
the heat settings you want to use is anywhere between 290 degrees to 315 degrees depending on whether or not your press has even heat spots throughout or you have some spots that get hotter than others now a way you can check that is you want to use what you call a temperature gun you can get at home depots or lows whatever they're very inexpensive and heat your press up to say 320 degrees then once the heat press is fully heated up you want to point that heat gun underneath the heat press to each corner each of the four corners including the middle okay to make sure all the readings match it's okay if they're off by one or two degrees but anything more than five degrees between you may want to increase your heat press to another five degrees to compensate for those missing degrees in that spot pressure wise the pressure is going to be a light to medium pressure and then your time is going to be for about 15 to 20 seconds now these settings may be different on your heat press depending on the brand and quality of the windbreakers or track suits that you're using but this is what works for me so when i use champion windbreakers these are the settings that i use but again just be patient most importantly take some time smooth out the polyester smooth out the garment smooth out your material so you have a flat smooth even surface okay watch for your zippers okay that sometimes are made out of plastic or your nylon drawstrings all right make sure those things that those are three things that's very important when pressing onto windbreakers you want to make sure those things are clear and out of the way from your heat because pressing onto a nylon drawstring will damage the drawstring melt it and that drawstring will then be dysfunctional to the hood of that windbreaker um also zippers zippers you want to stay down you don't want to heat up zippers because they set, they get so hot sometimes that they will actually burn through the polyester or material that you're using so you want to hang your garment halfway off of your heat press where to avoid zippers touching any type of heat or even the track that the zipper is on because that too is made out of a nylon material that's sewn onto the polyester windbreaker so you definitely want to stay away from those things but again, just be patient, you know, smooth out your surface, make sure you have a clear area, lay your design down, even it out, use your folded guidelines if you have them, you know, as, as, as a guide, you know, your folded lines, and, you know, just give it a hit, you know, go for it. You know, the first time might not be perfect, but then you'll understand how to line up, you know, your garment on there or your logo design and where you made your mistakes. You know, we all, nobody's perfect overnight. So, you know, this is all a learning process. So hopefully that little tip will help you guys out and you guys be successful on your windbreaker projects. So tell me, who did I help today? Let me know by leaving a comment below. If you had any questions or any suggestions, ideas, anything that I might have left out that you may want answers to, let me know below and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. And if you gained any value from watching this video, make sure you tap that like button, click the subscribe button, make sure to give that notification bell a little ring to stay updated on more tips and tricks just like this. As always, thanks for watching. It's your boy, Mr. T-Shirt, signing off. Peace.